Welcome back to Sturge Tropia and the first of many public service announcements for the Entropia universe. I'm, uh, I'm out here past Odysseus Landing, heading over to my favorite spot to hunt uh, my daily Gibnib challenge, 50 Gibnib. But uh, I want to show something that uh, about fruits, rocks, and dung that they do actually, you can actually find them over and over in the same location. Uh, on the same day. Now, maybe not after reset, but uh, you can always find them in the same location, even if you teleport, die, log in, log out. So uh, here I am, just killed my first Gibnib, and I'm going to show you. I, I find a Paplon here. Well, I stop. There it is. First Paplon. That guy right there. We're going to put a waypoint down for that in just a little bit and uh, go on from there. Let's. But this is, uh, I'm going to show you, this will be the first one. And then let the second. Uh, I'm hunting over here. I got a hero, and I find a second Paplon. Now, I've only killed 16, about 15 more of the Gibnibs. So that's, uh, that's waypoint number two. You can see waypoint number one down on the bottom there. Waypoint number two will be this Paplon, and we're going to come back to it after four more kills. Just to demonstrate quickly, yes, it's still there. So that's just the first demonstration. There are multiple demonstrations to come. Let's go to the next first waypoint. Waypoint number one. This one's a little more tricky. Uh, it doesn't appear right away. Uh, it doesn't render very quickly. So uh, I have to wonder to myself, what is wrong? But I know it's there. Uh, it's just a little slow. So this chirpy over here is going to help me find it. He's going to come right over, and then I'm going to shoot him after that. Uh, even though it's not part of my challenge, he's going to find the paplon for me right there. And I kill him, and I'm going to teleport out uh, to the nearest uh, revival point. And then we'll fly back, or we're going to log out, then fly back to our same spot there. So let's get over here. We'll uh, run around a little bit. I do actually a little bit between. I'm editing a ton of video here. And then I'm going to log out and log right back in to the Find Entropia universe. And let's get going. That's logged out, logged back in. Those things should still be there. You'll you'll note here in a few seconds after uh, I launch my craft, there's a waypoint. Well, I did myself a favor before logging out. I made myself a sticky, a little sticky note that had the two waypoints in them. And I clicked on them. Uh, that's why those are still those are there. So keep that in mind, just so I can come back and find these particular Papillon locations. Okay, now we're going to speed things up us a little bit. Get us uh, get us over there quickly. Uh, land, and I'll show you the the next little bit here. So we've already logged out, logged in, teleported all around. Boy, we're really uh, we're going hog wild here, and we're gonna come back to waypoint number one. And lo and behold, yeah, it's hard. This one doesn't render very quickly. That's kind of strange, but it's there. Oh, see, I'm I'm off a little bit. It's right to the right. There it is. Okay, so. Logged out, logged back in, teleported, died a couple of times. This is several hours of video edited. And there you have it. Uh, there is the uh, first Paplon. We're going to pick it up. That's 15 Paplon. That's really underwhelming. Let's go to the second one. All right, we're over at the second waypoint. Ooh, right next to me. Look how beautiful that is. There you have it. Uh, this one's probably going to be 15 as well, right? Look at the majesty of the Paplon. Let's pick it up. And, uh, and be underwhelmed. 15 it is. So, now you know, you can always find your fruits, rocks, and dungs. Even though I'm not showing rocks or dung in this, the, uh, the same applies. You can log out, you can run around, you can die, you can do all these things. I'm guessing it doesn't work for reset, because those particular points will be, will be gone, they'll be cleared. But it does work for just in-game play over several hours. This is probably about two hours worth of gameplay. I've edited it down to about uh, five minutes. So thanks so much for watching. Sturge out.